Want to have some of my nuts? No. Only if they're big bees. Not talking about the twins. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction seat. It's of Corbin. I'm nuts. See what I did there? What did we just see that in? That was our watch along. Oh, yeah. Sanju. That's right. That's what it was. I was like, what? Uh, anyways, uh, did, hey, welcome back to our stupid direct segment. No. Hey, welcome back to our stupid direct Actually, you did. I'm just fucking with you. Uh, uh, today, we're doing a movie review. I couldn't do it because of the nuts in my mouth. Yeah. Well, you... <laughs> Fitting for lust stories. If I could get my own nuts in my mouth. Uh, today, uh, we're doing a, a movie review of Lust Stories. Duh. Oh, crap. Crap, really? Uh, yeah, I watched the one. wrong movie. Oh, man. Uh, but if you haven't seen our reviews of Lust Stories 1, uh, we just watched that just uh, a couple days ago. We did. Uh, loved L Lust Stories 1. This is true. Uh, and we also saw Bombay Talkie, so if you haven't seen that, we actually did a, this a, is a, also a true. watch along of that one. So you can go check those out. Yeah. Uh, but the way it's going to be the, just like the last Lust Stories review, we're going to review each of the four. Four short stories, right? Individually, um, and then we will go over like our rankings of which ones we like best and which Correct. ones we didn't like as much. Um, but it's the directors are are bulky, who we've seen uh, quite a lot. Um, uh, not English for English. What did we see? His it was not. He produced that. It was. And we also we've seen the trailers for uh, several of his things too, um, like Mission Mongol, Padman. Uh, I know you. Hold on. That he Chini helmed? Chini Kum. Oh, that he, yeah, that he was a he director was the of? director of Chini yep. Kum. I was like, we've seen something he's directed before. Uh, Sujoy Josh, Dost, or Bondu. Bondu, actually. yep. Uh, Amit. Ravindranath Sharma. Who, did he direct Badai Ho? Oh, no. Yes. Yeah. He directed well, hey. Badai Ho. Uh, and uh, Konkona Sen Sharma, who I don't think we've seen anything she's directed, but we have seen quite a bit of, of her as a actress. Yes. Obviously. And then it's starring, including multiple dosts yes. in it. Uh, not a dose, but Kajol. Future, future dose. Future dose and Said Kajol. Uh, uh, dosed. Uh, Tilotama. Tilotama. And uh, Vijay Varma, I yes. believe, are the, the dose that round out these, these films. But we're going to go over the, I think it was Bulky's first, right? The, yeah. Um, the grandma one, it's the grandma one. So this is gonna be a uh, full spoiler. If you like to see non-spoiler ones, just go watch those. Uh, it's hard to do short films that just it, it that way. It's so true. So if you if you just don't want to be spoiled, go watch it. Come back and you can uh, hear about it. But we're gonna go over his first. Rick, what did you think of Bulky's uh, short? I thought I, I I thought it was okay. Mm. Um, I thought it like, and you'll hear this about pretty much all of them as a whole, that I, I felt that this was, I, I wrote down that none of them really came close to matching the quality for me of the first four. Like, yeah, definitely not as uh, anywhere near as good. Yeah, as, uh, I mean, there were a couple of good performances from a few of the actors, but other than those four, uh, I, I felt that a lot of it, and this one was particularly that way as it, as it led off, that a lot of it felt formulaic, forced, uh, that it had flaws to use to continue the, the Fs. Um, I, I felt like they missed the the beautiful human complexity of the first four. Uh, I I didn't find the grandma to be particularly believable. I also didn't think it was a particularly good lesson to make uh, a a marriage sex and orgasmic centric to happiness, even if it's a if, even if it's a thought. I just really felt it was pretty simplistic and was far more for the shock value of having a grandma talking about sex and orgasms than anything necessarily a good moral to take away from. Yeah, I liked the concept in terms of um, having a sex positive grandma because you, you don't get that a lot, in no. India, especially in Indian uh, yeah. culture and cinema. But yeah, I, I ended it as I was like, that was it. Exactly. Was like, we, couldn't go, we couldn't go any deeper yeah. than that in terms of like, either her relationship or like why she why she's feeling this way like why she has this this um this thought process um or also just like go just it just felt very surface level to me right? yep absolutely it felt like the takeaway is wow did you see the story with the grandma who talks about sex yeah i okay. was like i want i was like i sure if you want that to be your initial concept i'm cool with that because i i don't i don't mind a sex positive grandma yeah but I, I need more. I just I was it just felt like 
like um i don't it didn't i don't say a student film but in terms of like the con like the concept in, in terms of going deeper yeah yeah the like, writing concept was, it was, was like, shallow it was shallow yeah and i wanted i wanted more from this concept because right too. when it started i was like oh cool we're gonna have a grandma that's kind of defying the odds of of what tradition family tradition is and all that i was like cool 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 and it just didn't go any farther i agree i agree um, and i felt i also felt that some of the humor moments between her and her granddaughter the laughter felt forced it didn't feel like it was genuinely funny in the moment yeah, I mean, um, I, I know they were trying to go with the uncomfortableness of the right the nature of like you're my grandma. Why are you talking about sex? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, and she did it a lot, a lot. Um, and so it did seem a little overboard. Yep. Even though I know in Indian culture it is different, obviously. Yeah, and 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 yes, there definitely should be. We talked about this in the last one. There should be a discussion made in regard again. Again, nothing new was said. We already saw a story in which it was important in the last one. It was the the last of the four, the Karan Johar piece to be specific, mm. where Vicky gives her the ice cream. We already got the message in the storytelling prior that it is important to make sure that you take care of the other person, that you're not selfish in your sexual expression, that it yeah. isn't just about your orgasm. But also, I, I really didn't like, it, you know, you can have sex without orgasms, guys, and, and still have a healthy sexual life. I mean, yes, orgasm should be included, but just because someone doesn't have an orgasm doesn't mean the sexual expression wasn't a good one or it was unhealthy in some way it becomes orgasmic centric which is pretty yeah. shallow like the short story and the, the final thought on that is i i felt like you know if you're going into a relationship and you're you're treating it with the analogy of you got to test drive your car well if you're going to keep the car analogy then you're going to probably want a new car after a hundred thousand miles and that's a pretty sucky analogy to have for a marriage and if you're sex centric, what are you going to do if you get married and on your honeymoon, someone has an accident. Now you have to love a paraplegic. Sex isn't going to be what you expected. You're going to leave them. Oh, I just it, it was, was it just didn't work. <laughs> just didn't work for me at all as far as because it's storytelling. And the first four had these beautiful, complex morals to their stories that aren't so easily surmised. And this one just felt like it was going for shock value. Yeah, I yeah, I just, I, I just wanted I just wanted more. Um, and I. I, I don't think I have the exact same opinion that you have of that. I th even though I understand, and I think with better writing, it could have been handled better. I yeah. Think, I think they're, they were trying to go for it's the fact that since India, the sex is such a taboo yeah. that you, you got a progressive to know grandma. if you are compatible right. in that aspect. Um, and so I just think if there was better writing as a whole, it could have gone even farther, you know, and, and well, had more wait a minute. impact. Corbin, are you daring to say that theater whether it's stage or screen needs good writers yeah wow it's probably the most what important. a concept you mean to say it's probably the most important part of filmmaking and, and theater. you mean to tell me that without the writers you, everything's reality television even though that's scripted too yeah yeah wow isn't that wild that's yeah, crazy uh anyway so yeah that uh let us know your treat the writers the, right of that one obviously yeah uh now we're gonna go on to concona and sharma's with uh, telotama and uh the other actress is oh yeah we've uh, we, we we uh um, um, uh, Hold on. I'm gonna find uh, her here. Um, it's bothering me that my her, that her name is this bothering one right me. Here. Uh, Amruta. Yes. Thank you. We Good have grief. seen her many times. So before. sorry, Amruta. This was by far the best one, I think. 100. Uh, this one was. Almost as good as the prior yeah, four. Absolutely. It it, it Konkondesan Sharma, a phenomenal actress, apparently also has a phenomenal eye for direction. Yep. Uh, and also <laughs> hiring great actresses and, and performers is, is, is I think yeah. as an actor, it's probably, it was very important to her. She's like, I know I need good actors. The two, the two best moments were the fight and then the fruit stand. <laughs> Those were my favorite moments. Uh, I, I love this whole short. I love how it. this one fit the theme better than any of the other ones in this. Yeah, that I, the first movie set, right? Yes. Yeah. Like, cause, like, and I know there was like elements of lust in all of them, but I feel like the first one, there was like, oh, this overwhelming thing of different types of lust. Yeah. This one just had a little lust element, a little lust I element. Wrote, yeah, right? I wrote down, uh, we all have our little picadillos. Yeah. Right? Uh, uh, our, our little things that are the turn-ons to us that we're embarrassed, but we ought not be. Yeah, this one was the most uh, lusty, I guess. Yeah, well, uh, they both got turned on by something that's taboo. She yeah. liked to watch. She liked to be watched. <laughs> yeah, both of them were like, questionable to not tell the other person, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shouldn't watch people without have it, with you know without their permission. Right. And shouldn't have sex in somebody else's house without their permission. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, you know, they ended up working it they out. They worked it out. They worked it out. <laughs> 
<laughs> but the performance is obviously Tilo Tama is a, a phenomenal actress, obviously. Uh, a dose. Um, she, she gave a, a really good, nuanced performance mm-hmm. in this one. And it was very complex, and uh, you saw so much going on behind her eyes. I, I love the fact that it was directed by a woman, so you could, like, she wasn't showing, you know, breasts to show breasts. She was no. showing it from the female gaze. And I, re- like, I, it was all, yeah. on, it was on eyes a lot of times. And I really thought each of the moments we got to see where they were having sex, what Tilla Tom is seeing. I thought they were awesome because they were graphic enough to really show us stuff that's going on and get you, for lack of a better term, as titillated as Tilatama would be watching it yeah. without it being gratuitous and over the top. Yeah. Because this, in the wrong hands, a director could have done this and made it distasteful. Yeah. Yeah. Like whoever directed The Idol. <laughs> the what? The Idol? You hear about that? No. It's the Lily Rose Depp HBO show. Uh-uh. It's the director of uh, Euphoria. And oh, say no more. Yeah. He's. Uh, say no more. Uh, That's people, all. Yeah, I'm, he's getting uh, for for doing like way too gratuitous graphic. Oh, what a over, shock! Yeah, right. Have you seen Euphoria? No. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, st- anyway. I stopped watching Euphoria yeah. because all it was about was gratuitous porn. Yeah, I think it's uh, for a different audience for yeah. sure. With, yeah, uh, it's a definitely a different audience. <laughs> uh, somebody who wants to go to Pornhub. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, she, uh, Tilla Tama did a phenomenal job, um, and also. Don't want to forget her. Amruta. Uh, yeah. Magnificent. Great performance. Yeah. Uh, she, the moment she found out and then got this sense of power. Mm-hmm. The power she, and the turn on? Yeah. She's like, I never felt this power. Right. She's like, hmm, I kind of like that. Over, I think, over my boss. Yeah. I don't know if it's the fact that, you know, that she was being watched that was turning her on, but or the fact that it was her boss mm-hmm. who has been in charge of her for all these years yeah. basically yeah that's the, that was the turn on the fact that somebody who was in authority over her sure uh <laughs> or, I, or higher or rich or i whatever. also loved that she's been probably married to this husband for many many years and they still have a really yeah, yeah, active sex, sex yeah, yeah. life man they turn each other on yeah still. It's a it's, great uh, example uh the guy did a good job as well mm-hmm, he did uh i loved their the whole dynamic. I loved how complex it was. I loved the fight scene. It was phenomenal. But oh yeah, that great must have fight been a, scene. That was been a joy to act in and film. My my, I have only one problem with this one. Mm. I felt it was a little long. I felt I felt like it didn't need. A yeah, I wrote down a couple times. I said once we've established what's happening, it was enough. We didn't need to see it for as long as we did. Mm. It's fine. But then also, I wanted it to end when she handed her the keys. And they parted at that fruit stand. I wanted to fade to black. We didn't need to go back to the apartment and watch the door open. Yeah. It was like, we yeah. we know. Yeah. You, you already ended it there. It was a creative choice that she decided she wanted. And yeah, I agree. I'm always for the... Even though it was a strong moment, opening the door is a strong moment, sure. But yeah, I agree. The the, the handoff of the key yeah, probably would have been a, a stronger moment for, yeah. for me as well. But yeah, I, this is definitely my favorite. Me too. Of the, of the one, definitely one with the least amount of um, flaws, I guess. Yeah. Um, so let us know what you thought about this one, obviously. Now we're going to go on to our bondus, uh, Sujoy Josh. This is one that I a lot of people have a lot of feelings about that I found. That doesn't about. surprise me. Um, because some people said he thought he was in ghost stories. <laughs> he thought he was making a ghost I knew you knew what was going on, didn't you? Oh, immediately. Uh, well, th- it's kind of yeah. It's like why is it so pic- picturesque? Yeah, uh, the, the, uh, uh, it's because he's dead. Yeah, or he, like he's a. I thought it was like almost in a. Um, he was either dead or in a coma. I thought it was more of in like he's in uh, purgatory. Yeah. Whatever uh, happened. Yeah. He didn't just have an accident. And now he's walking through a town. Yeah. It was very clear. Immediately, there was no twilight zone. Yeah, we're gonna get a payoff. Clearly, he was. But, uh, he made that choice to have it that because immediately upon the driving, I was like, "Why is it such bad green screen right now?" And, yeah, and then it continued. I'm like, "Clue, this is a this is a choice that right we're, that we're making. We're right making here. right. <laughs> we're not being subtle." <laughs> yeah, uh, VJ Varma also a dose, so it's a it's a double doster. Um, but yeah, this one a lot of people uh, either didn't get. Or just didn't like, obviously. Um, and this it is, definitely feels like the odd wheel in it, all four, all eight stories. Even though it does have elements of the lust, and I, I, I think I got what he was trying to say. It's probably still my least favorite of them all. I think between, it has the weakest message um, between this one and um, the the grandma one. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just I, I don't know if it all that he was trying to convey worked. I agree. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, and I'm not fully 
convinced that I know what he was trying to convey other than maybe the pathway of lust is death. I don't know. Well, I think I don't know if that's if that's it. Um, and there wasn't a payoff when he came to look at the dead body. I had already known that 15, 20 minutes earlier. Yeah. I knew it was going to be him on the ground. Yeah. Um, so I did like has nothing to do with the moral of the story or the lust aspect of it. I did like the Western music with the, yeah. the this town is, isn't big enough for the two of us yeah. when the, the cop gets with him. But I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't understand where all of these this far have a very clear moral to the story. The only takeaway I got from this was, you know, don't have phone sex while you're driving. Don't don't lust after people that you're not married. I don't know. It didn't. It was weak. Yeah, it, it definitely had a uh, a convoluted message for sure, and also just choices that um, were strange for Sue Joy Josh from from what we've seen at least of his. Mm -hmm. um, that you know he he obviously decided to make those choices, and it was just. They didn't work for a lot of people. Who I, I looked on IMDb, and I also looked elsewhere. I can't find specific writing credits for each segment. Can you? I think they were all written by... Cause just, so like, just like the last all one. All of them wrote all four. I believe so. Collaboratively. N no. No, 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 no. They wrote their piece. Just like the last one. Okay. The, the last one, Anirag wrote his... Yeah, well, that Zoya, was clear in the credits Zoya. and on IMDb. I believe it's the same. I mean, there's no, no writing credits on IMDb Pro. Yeah. Hello... Yeah, um, I believe it's the exact same thing. Okay, of they wrote their specific. And books. this one again, like the first one, though they're very different. This one felt like we have an idea we want to play versus a message we want to share. Yeah, he, he. It definitely seemed like he had like had this concept. It was a concept, and we tried to. And, and I'm all about you know directors, you know, doing thinking of something and trying to do it, but it doesn't always work. Yeah. Uh, not that I think this was like awful or anything. It's just it. I don't think it was. Uh, I think his the concept he had in his head probably just didn't come to fruition the way maybe he wanted it to. Yeah. I yeah. think because uh, it was definitely the weakest. Uh, I feel like uh, even though I, I thought VJ, I mean, he's a good he's a great actor. I thought he did a good job, but there was nothing. Um, like, there wasn't much uh, to work with. Amazing. There. No. In this, and it was it was. When I was watching, I knew me and my wife immediately upon seeing the stuff. I was like, they're in purgatory or they're in a different yeah. realm or something like that. And I saw some people on Twitter said, uh, Sue Joey Joe thought he was in ghost stories, not lust stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, oops, sorry. Missed the memo. It was it was very much. Uh, uh, and it just, it also pacing wise, it, it just dragged. Yeah. 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 Um, but, you know, uh, let us know what you thought about uh, this e episode. And then uh, now we're going to go on to uh, who who's the director. Of the, uh, the last uh, Amit. one is Amit uh, Ravindranath Sharma. Sharma. Yep. Uh, this would be my second favorite of the two, of the four. Yeah. But I, still you, far behind uh, Konkanas. Konkanas is up here. Yeah. And then this one's way down here. And then the first one's way below it. And then, and then they're kind of equal. Yeah. yeah. I, I just, the only one for me that was a takeaway to watch was Kankana's. Mm. The other three for me were all kind of equally flat and mm. just, and I have reasons for it with, with this one. And that, it's a shame because I felt of these three, other than the Kankana one, I felt this one had the greatest potential and it just didn't hit the potential based on the story mm. that was outlined for us and the payoff at the end. Mm -hmm. um, I felt, it had a it had a lot of potential and it just fell really short for me. Well, where did it fall short for you? Um, it fell short in a couple of respects. Um, it it uh, I there were some things, for example, it's very rare for someone with that level of alcohol addiction to have that high of libido. It's just not that just this doesn't happen. Um, secondarily, it seemed completely incongruent with the character we'd been shown of the husband to withhold a slap. When he went to slap her and didn't, it made no sense to me. I, he should have he should have made us uncomfortable. It, it, I should have been sh just you you just hit Kajol. Well, he did multiple times. All the more reason why when he had the opportunity to do it when he turned her around, why he withheld it made no sense in in light of the way the character had been displayed. Um, I also I also thought it was it was really dumb for her to just bring Reka in. Did she not keep in mind the fact that he's going to rape her so she's going to get it too? I mean, bringing Reka to sleep with her husband, mm -hmm. she's just going to get it too. It, it was, it, was it a murder-suicide by way of an infected prostitute? Did she? Do you think she knew she was eventually going to die too? 
Oh, I think well, she was probably hoping to leave with her son. I think is probably that. I don't. I think she was just trying to find a way to have more revenge. And if she died in this, I mean, she uh, she basically already seemed like a walking corpse a, a, almost at times. To a certain extent, um, so that she could have stuff for her son. Um, yeah. So I think that was the the intent there. Yeah. But, uh, so and I just I felt that it, it. I also felt that with what it was given, you have someone of the caliber of a cudgel. I just felt like they didn't give her enough to work with in a story that could have been powerful. Mm. It fell real short for me. Uh, it didn't fall that short for me in terms of how, how short it felt for you. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed Kajal's performance. I enjoyed uh, the, well, I enjoyed the, the, the thing because it's not like a fun story. No, it's not. But, uh, I did enjoy the, the, the payoff of the end, not of the... That, no, that she the was twist. Hit, the twist at the end. I like that. That she basically killed her son. Right. Uh, morbid. Love it. Uh... <laughs> Uh, so I, I did really enjoy that that twist there, uh, and yeah, I, I, do I think it could have been even better? Yeah, I, I do think it could have been better with um, some some more intensity at at times, sure, uh, and and maybe a little faster in terms of uh, this progressing the story. Yeah, it, it did pace wise um, got, got boring, but it uh, I, I enjoyed this in terms of. I mean, if if. If this one was in the last one, yeah, sure, it would have probably be, still been the last, <laughs> the least of the and the last four. I might have enjoyed all it. of them. Over been actually the over under. The, oh yeah, all they're them. all under the first. I might have also enjoyed this a little bit more had it been up front because by the time I reached it, I already had had three that fell short of Lust Stories one, so I kind of was already in a state of disappointment, mm. which I'm sure helped shape some of my disappointment in this segment. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, it, it, it def- this Love Stories does not even hold a candle. Nah. To even the, uh, Concana's is fantastic. And I think it hers is worth watching. Could have fit in um, the the first Love Stories, yeah. even though it would have still been the weakest if you had all the other Love Stories in there. It, it felt uh, from cut the, from the same cloth. Um, but it, I thought that one was definitely the best. I'm looking forward to seeing more of her. Um, but this one, uh, for this, for... I thought was the second best, um, and I enjoyed yeah. a lot of elements of it. Uh, sadly, I think it fell victim to, in the first one, they had a very clear vision of what they wanted to portray and a very clear idea of a message they wanted to get across in their storytelling. And it felt like this was, hey, Netflix has green, greenlit a part two. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I could definitely see that. Um, but, you know, it's... Uh, so how would you, 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 you said your ranking would be... Concanus is at the top. This one, uh, way below that one, and the other two basically... Yeah, because the, bottom, right? the story for this one I felt I could have... Same ranking. This would be my second favorite, and then the as, as, as shallow as it was, the grandma would be yeah. three, and then the, so the weird ghost story one would be last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I don't think this one would be as far as you had for, for two for me, but that, I think I would have the exact same ranking. But uh, points, and this is maybe what attracted uh, Sujoy Ghosh to the project, tip of the cap for doing something different outside the box. You, Definitely I mean, get a... Get, Get an originality. You get a tip of the cap for that. He usually does. Yeah, I'd rather uh, do that and fail than be predictable and boring. He and... was definitely he was definitely trying for something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so let us know what your ranking of these ones would be. Uh, and I bet this isn't a forty minute review, is it? No. Like love stories. No, love stories one was a thirty nine minute review. I bet it's. 25. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just because you have to talk You about can more. always tell from the length. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, How much you enjoy it. Exactly. Thank and we you. We really enjoyed Thank Lost Stories. Thank you very one. much. Uh, so, if you let us know your rankings of, of the short stories yeah. uh, and how you enjoyed them, we will probably get to ghost stories, but it'll probably be in October. Just we're going to save that for um, spooky times. For spooky times, just so we have some spooky stuff to watch. We love spooky times. Uh, and if there's other anthologies that we should watch from any language, uh, please let us know what those anthologies should be down below.